I'm now joined by Supreme Knight Patrick Kelly to discuss this powerful new film and his trip to Rome. Supreme Knight, great to see you. Thanks for being here. Hi, Jonathan. It's great to be here with you. So we have a lot of things to talk about. And so I'm just going to start chronologically. The last Supreme Convention was your first Supreme Convention in person with everybody together. It was a dynamic, exciting event. Looking back a couple of weeks on it, what are your reflections about it? You know, I'm, I'm still really um, on a high about the Supreme Convention because I thought it was great. It was great to be back in person. And I think everyone felt that, you know, they felt the absence of coming together in person. So that was great. But, you know, the Supreme Convention, it had to do a few things. In my mind, it had to do a few things. And we accomplished those. So we rolled out our our ASAP program, our aid and support after pregnancy, that was successful. We did a very successful tribute to Carl Anderson. We weren't able to do that during COVID and, and we needed to do that. I think that went very well. And then also Ukraine. I mean, we really needed to talk about Ukraine and everything that the order has done in Ukraine. And I think we accomplished all of those things. And we just, I think everyone had a really great time. So Ukraine was, was a very powerful moment in your address when you were talking about Ukraine because there were some tributes made and some people were acknowledged at that point. Yeah, we had uh, the state deputy of Ukraine, Yuri Maletsky was there and uh, we acknowledged him in my speech and he got a standing ovation. But then later at the, at the state's dinner, we gave him the St. Michael Award for all that he has done to shore up the nights in Ukraine. He's really been instrumental in the relief work that we've done. So we did that. We paid tribute to Yuri Maletsky. We recognized Archbishop Mokshidsky, who was there in person. So it was really important to do. You know, I mentioned the St. Michael Award, but also uh, Yuri Maletsky gave me a Ukrainian flag that the Ukrainian military in the field had signed as a gift. And that was a special moment for me. So you mentioned this new program, Aid and Support After Pregnancy. Now, I'm sure there are some viewers who maybe don't know what that is, most of our brothers do, but maybe you could say what the program is, why it's important right now, and maybe even comment on how it's going. The, this program is crucial to our pro-life efforts. And, and what it is is we, you know, we've always been there for the vulnerable mother and her unborn child, but this is really a concrete way that our councils can do this. And what we're, what we're doing is our councils are partnering with pro-life pregnancy centers and pledging, pledging what? Aid and support. And we from Supreme are coming in and assisting them with that as well. And it really, it, it builds on the relationship that so many of our councils have with pro-life pregnancy centers through the ultrasound programming. We have put in close to 1600 ultrasounds. So we have these relationships. And now what ASAP does is it takes that to a whole new level where we are really giving aid and support right where it needs to go to the vulnerable mother and helping her with her, with her child. Uh, so I'm very excited about the program. We put a $5 million goal for the next year on the program and, and, and we're well on our way to do that. If our Knights or others want to participate, they should go to kfc.org slash ASAP and they can find out all they need to do to help our pregnancy centers. So this is an extremely important moment for the pro-life movement and another pro-life hero we've just made a movie about. Our movie, Mother Teresa, No Greater Love Has Come Out. This, is, this took you to Rome. We've had a number of premieres on this end. Tell us about this movie and how it's being received. You know, it's been great. We've been on the road a bit with the film. We premiered it in Rome, and then, uh, which was a great premiere. We had actually three showings of the film in Rome, and we premiered it in Washington, D.C., which was very, very special, and then in New York City. We had a New York City premiere of it, and in each one of these venues, the film was just really, really, you know, everyone that came enjoyed it. We had missionaries of charity at each of the showings, and it really, I think it really touched the audiences, and I think what we're seeing is 
people are really anticipating that this film, when it comes out in theaters on October 3rd and 4th, uh, I think they're gonna be wanting to go see it and get their friends and their families, their brother knights and their councils to go see this film. What are your hopes for the movie? I mean, it seems to me it's appropriate for the knights to have done this. Um, we're honored, we're privileged to do it. You've said that many times, but one of our core principles is charity. I just think it, it fits us. And is there something special? Did you feel an affinity to the movie as a Knight of Columbus? Yeah, I did feel that affinity. And you know, it's interesting too, because that affinity goes back three decades. So we, we've been friends with the missionaries of charity, but it really goes back to the friendship that one of my predecessors, Virgil Deccan, had with Mother Teresa. And uh, over the years, that took very tangible forms. The Knights would help the missionaries with printing their prayer books, uh, we would help them with printing their constitutions, which every every missionary gets a copy of their order's constitutions. But also, and this really moved me, when the missionaries go to a new place and they start a new home, often the Knights of Columbus would provide a tabernacle for their home. And uh, because one thing that comes out in the film is you see that the mother was so devoted to the Eucharist. That was the requirement for starting a missionary of charity home is they needed to have Jesus with them uh, in their home. So there has been this friendship, and, and it's just a very symbiotic relationship. We're obviously, we're very, very different. We have very, very different vocations, but the charity is the common thread through it all, I think. Mr. Kelly, thank you as always for your leadership, and thanks for taking time here on Nightcast. Yeah, Jonathan, thank you very much. 